Tina Gray from Red Carpet Drive interviewed Jane Lynch at Dropping the Soap premiere. It's like an hour content. Uh, it, if you watch it all at once, it's about an hour's worth. But I would say some of my favorite moments, all of them, all of the delighted lives, for the actual soap opera, which we shot with soap opera lighting, and uh, the script was written. I mean, it's little bits of tongue in cheek, but for the most part, it's kind of like a soap opera, and that's really fun to watch. And to watch Paul's, he gets a special light on his beautiful blue eyes every time they go in for his close up, and the back cracks me up. Kate Flannery, yeah, it's called Swingin' Little Christmas, and it's a um, throwback to the late 50s, early 60s Christmas albums. You can get it on iTunes or Amazon. Yeah, it was on Billboard on the, the top eight. Yes, it did. Uh, I know it's not Christmas, but we did celebrate that one of the songs uh, was number eight on Billboard, and the album is 20. Well, now you know what game night was so much fun. Thank you. Okay, so like, how, did, how did you find the people be on the show? I mean, I'm a celebrity. How do you do it? I don't do that. You know, somebody else does that. I just host it. Now you're dropping the soap. Tell us about that. Great. Uh, Stopping the Soap is a web series about a soap opera called Collided Lives that is circling the drain. It's about to be canceled. And uh, my character, Olivia Vanderstein, comes in and shakes things the hell up. And so it's the backstage shenanigans of this soap opera trying to stay relevant and alive. And, of course, uh, uh, the, the actual footage of the soap itself. I love you, Jackie, by the way. Thank you. Thank you for watching our interview with Jane Lynch on Red Carpet Drive.